What up my friends? Today we have a Costco shop with me and haul. I know I usually show my face on here, but we're doing this via voiceover because I just got home from Disney and I'm looking a little ragged around the edges and I don't want to put you through that. If you're new here, hi, how are you? Welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on that thumbnail. Over here, I share a lot of haul videos as well as recipes and other tips and tricks for busy lives. If you end up enjoying this video, please feel free to check out the rest of my channel where I have more content just like it. Anyways, we're going to be taking a romantic stroll down the aisles of Costco together and see what they had out. The staff at Costco was nice enough to put the lotion I needed right by the front of the store, so I really appreciated that. And they had even put it on sale for me, which I just thought was such a sweet gesture. I had two missions in the aisles towards the front of the store. One was to find a spill-proof cup set that one of my friends had recommended, and I found that pretty quickly. $14.99 for the set, and they had a variety of different colors. And the other objective that I had on this mission today was to find the new Disney and Bluey snack cup set. So I did find those. We have had these in the past and absolutely love them. So I'm excited they came out with new characters. It seems that Costco wanted to test the willpower of people with New Year's resolutions. So they had out a lot of cool treats. One of the ones that really grabbed my eye was a cookie and cream mini cake set. It was a six pack for $8.99 and it took all my willpower to walk away. They also had some chocolate cream pie out that I've never seen and that looked delicious. Listen, don't sleep on these gyro slices. If you grab these plus some naan bread and tzatziki sauce, it makes a perfect meal. Whenever I go to Costco, I also like to pop into the charcuterie board section because in my mind, I'm forever grazing over a charcuterie board. I liked these little snack pack options that they had because I just envisioned like a little picnic at work type thing. They had some heart-shaped ravioli out for Valentine's Day. Now we need to talk about this dip. There was an enchilada dip out that really intrigued me, but then the ingredient list was the length of a phone book. I'm not crazy picky about things needing to be completely clean, but this one scared me away a little bit. There was a buffalo chicken dip out too, and that looked delicious, and the ingredients were a lot less. Now, at this point, I vividly remember walking around Costco with confidence that I had been doing good. I was sticking to my list. I felt like I wasn't spending that much money, and as you're going to see at the end of this, that was not the case. I moved into the dog section at this point because I was on the hunt for some treats for my dog, who is incredibly picky with the type of dog treats that she has. So I saw these jerky treats and stay tuned for the haul portion because I have a funny story that goes along with those. Since I love to cook so much, I always pop into the area where they have all the seasonings. The Kinder seasonings and sauces are so good and they had out a new one, the caramelized onion butter that sounded delicious. Liquid IV is a favorite in this house and they had out some mocktail ones that was hard for me to say no to, but I ended up going with a sugar-free option instead. Speaking of sugar-free, if you're looking for something a little bit on the healthier side, these That's It bars are a favorite grab of mine at Costco. Please let the record reflect that they did already have Easter out if you don't care about sugar. And lastly, a new snack mix I haven't seen before in a sweet heat flavor. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get into the haul video where I'm going to show you why my Costco receipt is the length of a CVS receipt. You guys, I think I'm in a state of shock still from what just went down with my checking account in Costco. They, they had a disagreement tonight. Um, it hurts. I went in there. Okay, I went to Costco, as you guys probably know, last week. Okay? I spent between Costco's website and Costco physically, I spent $350. Does this look like $415 to you? because that's how much I spent tonight. There's not a single like actual protein in here. Like I didn't buy a big thing of chicken or a big thing of ground beef. The only thing that I can think of is the milk, but I, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it together. Let's talk about it. One of my friends had specifically messaged me and told me these cups here are perfect for like toddlers and young kids because they're spill proof. And she said they're like actually spill proof. So I listened to her because her son is about a year or two older than my son. So she's a veteran as far as I'm concerned. And I'm just going to listen to what she has to say. Okay. 
I also ran out of lotion, which ended up working out in my favor because tonight this was $6 off, which that's a great deal, okay? In order to try and save money, I spent $20 on this big bag of jerky treats for my dog. We have been buying these soup bones from Target since like 1971, and it's 23 ounces, and this is $11 for the bag. This is a three pound bag for only $20. So girl math said that that was a good buy. We'll see because she's very picky about treats. It was so funny. I'm pretty particular when it comes to what I give my dog because she does have seizures and I don't I don't like all of those like fillers, right? So I was like in Costco and I'm like searching this bag and I'm like, they don't have the ingredients anywhere on it because I'm used to an ingredient list that looks like this. You know what I mean? Like, and this, if you've seen dog treats, this is actually a short list of items. This, the reason why I couldn't find the ingredient list is because it's just two ingredients. Chicken and vegetable glycerin. That is all that are in these. So hopefully she likes these because I will spend $20 to get her a very clean treat every day. Liquid IV, these... I don't know, I haven't decided if the Costco price is better than just buying it directly through Liquid IV and being able to get a variety of different flavors, but I grabbed the lemon lime in sugar-free uh, because we are gonna be going to Disney next week, so we like to have Liquid IV on hand, but the regular ones do have quite a bit of sugar in it, so I try to sneak these ones in as much as I can. Uh, they're just like electrolyte drinks, stuff like that. Uh, salami. I want to make Italian BMT salads, and the salami is something that I like for snacks. I have a million uses for salami. So I grabbed this two-pack here, and one of these is going to go in the freezer. I can already tell you that. Cheese. This is probably the bulk of uh, my purchase here is dairy. So I got a set of mozzarella cheese. I've just been finding, like, I've been cooking a lot of Italian lately, so... I just decided to get some mozzarella cheese and we ran out of our shredded cheddar. So I grabbed a two pack of this shredded Jack this time. So I had to buy six packs of the organic whole milk, which is almost $14 per. Okay. So I don't know how much that math's to. Let's see. 15 times four is a hundred, right? No, not at all. 15 times four is 90, right? 80, 15, 15 times four is 60. We're doing great. So add two more, 30. So $90 in milk, basically. I'm rounding up. 85, we'll call it. That math probably just made your brain bleed, didn't it? I'm so sorry. But anyways, the moral of the story is a lot of money on milk because I have three toddlers at this point. We needed peanut butter. We finally ran out of that. That hurt. Eggs. We still have some of the five dozen I bought, I think either last time or the trip before but just to hold us over until we do another Costco run and then we run out of butter. So one will be going in the fridge, the other three will go in the freezer. If you need more tips on how to maximize freezer storage, I have a Costco haul that includes tips for minimizing food waste and I talk all about my freezer methods in there. So check that video out. Over here, also for the Italian BMT salad I'm planning, I grabbed some ham and then also John loves sandwiches. There's just a variety of things I can use ham for. Uh, John also loves these like cherry tomato type things. So for the salad and for snacks for him. I saw this uh, Italian four cheese ravioli heart shaped. I just thought, you know what? My oldest son is eating real foods now. And I just thought this would be a cool treat for him on Valentine's Day. Make him some ravioli for lunch, you know? Uh, over here, I got a six pack of romaine hearts. That's for the salad situation. Cucumbers for the salad and then for snacks for me. I bought a bag of the Normandy vegetable and the rice cauliflower because we finally ran out of those. Rice cauliflower, if you have like toddlers, this is a great option to have in the freezer if you like are trying to figure out something nutritious to get them to eat. My kids love rice cauliflower. So, and it's so easy to just pop it in the microwave or steam it on the stove and get some nutrients into them. Big thing of baby carrots. All of my kids are obsessed with carrots. So I'll just continue feeding that to them. They are also obsessed with sweet potatoes. So this entire bag, I think it's six and a half pounds, was $2.99. So that clearly wasn't part of the problem tonight. These That's It mini fruit bars. I love these. They literally have two ingredients per. 
So they have just fruit. I don't know how they do it. It's going to be some type of sorcery, but that's none of my business. So I grabbed this. This was on sale. I thought that said 2023, and I was like, no wonder it was on sale. It's 2025. Grabbed this. This was on sale for a really good price. So that's that. Uh, fruit and veggie pouches. I only grab these when I know we're going to Disney soon because I like to have them at the parks if we're trying to like hold them over until the next meal or something. These are a good snack option. And the ingredients in these are relatively clean. So you got, oh, they are, they've got a lot of organic ingredients in it. You know, it's basically what you do with your own canning. And then last, but certainly not least, these snack cup things are perfect for Disney parks. This top section, we have these like toddler crackers. It fits perfectly in here. So you don't have to worry about them getting smushed and broken and all of that stuff. And then we keep like their version of like cereal snack type things in here, or you could do like those fake toddler cheese puff type things. They're just perfect. These all spin off. They're easy to wash. They go right in the dishwasher. And we already have a Star Wars set, but when I saw they came out with Disney, I grabbed that. My best friend, whoops, good. My best friend asked me to grab her set too, so one of these is for her. And then they also, if you're a Bluey fan, we don't really watch Bluey over here, not for any reason except that my kids just love Miss Rachel and pretty much nothing else. So my best friend asked me to grab a Bluey set for her, so I grabbed this. I think that's just adorable. Like, if I knew anything about Bluey, I would be all for this, but that's that. So, anyways, that's everything I grabbed at Costco this evening. All right, you guys, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. It means the absolute world to me. I hope I delivered whatever you needed when you clicked on that thumbnail, and I hope you have a magical day. Bye.